Our next inductee into the Arkansas Business Hall of Fame, Gerald Wayne Jerry Jones, parlayed his lifelong passion for football into one of the top NFL teams in the nation. With business skills developed in the oil and gas industry, he has built the Dallas Cowboys into a powerhouse. Jerry Jones was born in 1942 in California, but his parents Pat and Armenda Jones returned to North Little Rock where he grew up and played football for the Wildcats. Mr. Jones attended the University of Arkansas where he became a starter and co-captain for the only Razorback football national championship team. We went down there and beat the University of Texas. When individually, we were never the same again. You were a part of a team that had just beaten the very best. And then we became the very best. And therein lies to me, the, the, the finest quality about sports and the finest quality about football. It's um, uh, really having that blind faith again. Uh, it is uh, understanding that you really can, through effort and hard work, uh, be better than you're supposed to be. He received a degree in business from the University of Arkansas. Redshirted as a freshman, he spent his fifth year earning a Master's of Arts. Jerry is is his fame and, and fortune and so forth is phenomenal today, but he was infamous in college. Um, he, he drove the biggest car, he had the prettiest girl, he was uh, a smart guy, he was studious, he was uh, energetic, and he was lucky. While in school, Mr. Jones sold insurance for his father's company. In 1970, he sold the business and invested the profits in the oil and gas industry. Although the 27-year-old knew nothing about the industry, he learned quickly. The first 13 wells that Mr. Jones drilled all hit gas or oil at a time when the Arab oil embargo had driven up prices. Using all the capital at his disposal, Jones bought hundreds of oil and natural gas interests in Texas and Oklahoma, including the Arcoma Basin. Today, he continues to serve as president and CEO of Jerry Jones Oil and Gas Company. In 1989, in a downturn economy, he purchased the floundering Dallas Cowboys and Texas Stadium for $140 million. I was fortunate. I was able to take uh, uh, a great education there at the university, great coaching from my parents, and plus mix that in with sports that uh, uh, made you uh, really realize and think ahead so that uh, when the train came by, it wasn't a surprise. Uh, you're taught, imagine the play before the ball ever comes your way. So that when opportunity has come along in my life, I've seen it before and I didn't hesitate and that often is a very significant thing in timing and so I just grabbed it. And that was the case of the Dallas Cowboys. When Jerry came to Dallas, I was president of the Cotton Bowl, and uh, the newspapers called me and asked me for, you know, for some information on this stranger, this interloper coming from Arkansas down there buying their favorite cowboys. And I said, you gotta watch this guy. I mean, he's not a country boy. I mean, he is coming to town, and he's been to town, and he knows how to operate. And he is smart, shrewd, uh, intelligent, and very lucky and Jerry will make a great success of this. Mr. Jones quickly gained a reputation as a maverick, designating himself as general manager and becoming a hands-on owner. In 1993, the Cowboys won their first Super Bowl in 15 seasons against the Buffalo Bills. In 1994, they appeared in their NFL record seventh Super Bowl, beating the Bills again and becoming only the fifth team to win back-to-back -back Super Bowl championships. In 1996, the Cowboys won Super Bowl 30 against the Pittsburgh Steelers. They became the first NFL team to win three Super Bowls in four seasons while tying the NFL record for the most Super Bowl victories at five. Jones innovations in the areas of marketing, corporate sponsorship, television, stadium development, and community service have made a visible imprint on professional sports in America. The fact that my entire family uh, is involved 
and the management of the Cowboys is, is probably the most rewarding thing for me on an individual basis. Uh, the, so much of the things that I get credit for, they should get. Uh, it's their ideas, and they execute them. When I look back on the influences that I had as to how to uh, create something different, how to create some energy to do business, uh, I think I don't have to go any farther than my dad and mother. They were quite an influence. In the pinnacle of his career, Jones opened the new Cowboy Stadium in Arlington, Texas in 2009. He paid for the $1.2 billion stadium with a mix of public and private funds. The most expensive stadium in the world, it holds 80,000 people and features the world's largest HD video screen. Mr. Jones and his wife Jean made idea gathering trips to facilities around the world. Uh, the stadium speaks to strength because a lot of the steel but it has a certain finesse to it because of all the glass. So the point is that when you think of well, football and you think of uh, the physicalness of football, uh, then uh, we're injecting with that stadium a uh, artistic, uh, a architectural uh, aspect of it that uh, to me will speak to what the Dallas Cowboys are about. For all his fame and fortune, Mr. Jones hasn't forgotten his days as a Razorback at the University of Arkansas. Along with his teammate Jim Lindsay, he helped build the gardens in honor of their parents and the Hall of Champions at the Royal Center. With such success has come amazing generosity. The Jones are very involved with the Salvation Army. Uh, the Salvation Army has, has told us, and we know it to be a fact, that incrementally that halftime has raised over a billion dollars from where they would have been had they not had that kind of visibility. It's an uh, a, uh, organization that's been in this country 125 years. They inspire me. And so, like anything else, the more we put into it, the more we've become involved, the more we've gotten out of it. And it's uh, uh, probably, singularly, uh, the best thing that uh, we've done since owning the Cowboys. Mr. Jones and his family support numerous charities devoted to helping children and their families, such as Easter Seals. For his vision in the oil and gas industry and the world of professional football, and his devotion to helping youth and those in need. Mr. Jerry Jones is deserving of the Arkansas Business Hall of Fame.